This is a Dell M115 HD, which I bought from eBay for parts not working. It was showing all the signs of having a faulty DMD chip. I ordered a new DMD chip and I thought I'd have a go at disassembling it so that I knew the procedure when the replacement chip arrived. I made a couple of mistakes along the way, so hopefully you can learn from my mistakes if you're going to take on the same project. The project came with the bag and all of the cables and everything looks in really good condition. Here is the projector itself. There are four small rubber screw covers on the bottom of the projector. So the first job is to remove them. The next job is to unscrew the four screws. The first mistake I made was in not realising there's a small screw in the back plate. I'd already started prying it off when I worked that out. When all of the screws are out, pry off the back plate first. It has the speaker connected so be careful when removing it. The next job is to pry the bottom of the projector away from the top casing. There's a ribbon connector connecting the top and the bottom halves, so again be careful when separating them. Another lesson I learned is that to allow the two halves to separate, the focus ring has to be all the way to the left as you're looking at it from behind. Then it's a case of gently separating the two halves, taking care not to damage the ribbon cable. The DMD heatsink and DMD connectors are housed on this daughter board. You need to unscrew the heatsink and remove the fan next to the DMD chip to release the daughter board. Then you gently pull the daughter board away from the projector and it will pop off revealing the DMD chip. Next we need to remove the seal around the DMD chip and you can then remove the DMD chip itself.
To my surprise, when I reassembled the projector, the projector worked perfectly and I've no idea what I did to repair it. I noticed that the heatsink compound between the heatsink and the DMD chip was in a very poor state. It was very brittle and very flaky. So I'll replace that and hold on to the DMD chip in case of future problems.